The history of education for Six Nations and other Indigenous groups in Canada is a long and complicated one. Going all the way back to time immemorial, when our society had a strong oral tradition, Haudenosaunee youth would learn by hearing stories passed down from their elders. However, in 1831, Canada established the residential school system, whose aim was to take away our culture, languages, and traditions through a policy of aggressive assimilation. The Mohawk Institute, located in Brantford, Ontario, only a few kilometers away from the Six Nations territory, was the first of these residential schools to open in Canada. Designed to destroy First Nations languages, cultures, and social structures, the legacy of residential schools has been devastating, and the effects of intergenerational trauma can still be felt today. But Six Nations is resilient. In the late 1980s, the Six Nations community considered taking over its elementary schools from the federal government, but decided against this given funding uncertainties. The community instead decided to focus on access to post-secondary education. In the early 1990s, it became more pressing for the community to take control over its education with programs focusing on maintaining native languages and culture and to increase access to higher education for native students. Then, in 1993, the community established the Grand River Polytechnic Institute, which was later renamed to Six Nations Polytechnic in 2001. Although our culture and traditions had to go underground to be preserved, there is an exciting regeneration occurring with Six Nations Polytechnic at the forefront of this resurgence. SNP began working on developing a degree in Ongohoi languages in 2012. After many years of work and with the support of the Six Nations Community Development Trust Fund, we completed an organization and program review and it submitted the degree application in December of 2013. After reviewing our submission, the Ministry of Adult Education and Skills Development gave consent to offer the degree in December of 2015. Classes began the following January. And finally, despite having had to endure over a century of residential school policies, 11 students graduated from the very first Indigenous language degree to be offered by an Indigenous institution on Indigenous land. On June 7th, Six Nations Polytechnic made history, but this is only the beginning. Since opening in 1993, Six Nations Polytechnic has continued to make strides in revitalizing Indigenous knowledge, cultures, and languages. We are strong, we are resilient, we face down adversity, and will continue into the future motivated and optimistic.